it's Sunday the 4th of August today. Um, been quite an emotional day actually, <laughs> aren't they all? Um, but I I did the big, took the big leap and I got my hair shaved off, uh, which was really difficult. Um, so I'll show you now. Um, yep, yeah. <laughs> I look pretty horrendous. Um, makes me really sad just looking at it to be honest because um, you can see here where all my hair started to come out so it started dropping out a couple of days ago and um, it, I woke up this morning and I just had like a spread of hair everywhere um, which was um, really upsetting because Max sort of came into the room and he said oh mommy there's all hair um, all over the floor so um I just thought, right, that's enough now, and if it's enough, I'm going to just shave it off. Um, I did also have hair drop in my meal last night, which was kind of a last straw as well. I was like, ugh, gross. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's hard. I don't like the way I look like this, um, and I thought that I'd be okay, but it's been really emotional. Uh, I think it sounds really vain, but I think I feel more emotional about this than I will, should they say I'm going to have a double mastectomy, because it, it, I just don't feel like myself at all. Um, and, you know, everyone's been really nice. Everyone's said, oh, you know, it, you're fine, you look great, but I know I don't. I know I don't, and I, I will no doubt get used to it. I have to. <laughs> I've just got to think it's just temporary and that it'll come back once my chemo's finished. Uh, so, yeah, it's hard. And anybody who tells you that it isn't hard um, is lying. <laughs> or they really rock the bald head look. Well, but I don't. So, so I'm, putting my, I'm putting my hat back on. I don't really know how to do these things either. I had to go onto YouTube and find out um, the best way to do them. They're a bit awkward. Um, but having one on makes me feel a bit more, a bit less special. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so it's... There we go. So my mum, I asked my mum if she would do it for me. Um, because I knew that I would, oh, there was a good chance I would cry. Um, but turns out that I wasn't the, <laughs> the one who got upset. Is my mum? I think she found it really difficult. Bless her. And um, she tried really hard to keep it together, but I could tell she was crying. So, um, and actually, it helped having Max there because uh, he lightened the situation a bit he said oh mommy you look disgusting oh stop Put, cover your bald head up <laughs> which you know for five-year-old isn't it so um so yeah um big change um i did also put on facebook that i got cancer which was um another big step that um i, I didn't i was trying to decide whether to make it public mainly because you know i didn't want friends and family to get bombarded with stuff and that's another reason I've done this video because people can keep up to date on things um but yeah nothing much else to report just um uh, today has been a really emotional day and it's been lovely to see the messages that people have put on Facebook as well which you know and there's people that I haven't spoken to for years and obviously um, cancer is probably something close to everyone's heart and everyone knows somebody who's come through it or passed away or whatever so um, I think the thing is to just stay strong and um, and I'm not going to be walking around bald by the way <laughs> people keep saying to me oh don't worry just fuck it just go around without a headscarf on or whatever but no I do not rock the bald look and I think even when I get used to it, it's not going to happen. Um, I wish it were not that way. I wish I could, but I can't. So, um, But I just want to say thanks to my mum. She's so incredibly strong and I can't imagine what that must have been like for her. And I didn't even think about it, to be honest. I thought, oh, she'd be okay, you know, she's mum. But, 
yeah i can imagine she was emotional she said a lot of my brother <laughs> he's bald by the way well, he's not bald but he shaves his head so um i'm noticing that i look more and more like him which uh, is not a bad thing because he's lovely um but yeah i think the shave has been the biggest challenge so far and in my head I'm thinking well if, if this is as bad as it gets then I'm kind of lucky um, yeah so that's all I've got to report and I will um, post I'm having my next chemotherapy session on th this Thursday I'm having a pick line fitted on Wednesday uh, which is going to be a permanent uh, line in my arm uh, which is going to save me a lot of bruising you can see here I've got this uh, bruise from uh, last time they tried to inject me so I don't want any more of those. Um, but again, thanks for all the advice and I will speak soon.